My name's Ola Kemi. Hey, my name's Aaliyah. My name's Philippa Ann. And my name is Danielle. Diverse is a campaign that we all put together, not just to magnify four plus models, but four plus models from different backgrounds, different ethnicities, and even though we're all plus size, we're still different shapes and sizes. We had a great team of makeup artists, stylists, designers, photographers, film directors, and we just want to show other females out there that you know there are girls out there that you can look up to that are role models that you know that look like you, you know, and even for the industry to see that hold on, let's add more, let's show diversity. I had always been the fat friend and had never experienced being thin. I have now been modelling for a year or so and I'm currently the biggest I've been. You get a lot of constructive criticism from family, friends, colleagues, industry professionals and total strangers and you get to a point of despair. You get stuck in a rut and have to drag yourself out of your hole of self-pity and teach yourself to love yourself for who you are and what you've been blessed with. I have four young nieces and they always said growing up they wanted to be like me when they're an adult. For me, that's where I had to look at myself and say, you're a role model, you have young girls looking up to you, saying they need to lose weight and change their appearance. They are beautiful and I need to teach them that they should love themselves whatever their size. It's strange since I started modelling, I've had friends come up to me or message me and say, I feel so uncomfortable with my body, but it's okay for you because you're a plus model, but I feel like I'm fat. Or women who tell me they've put on weight since having a baby and they feel like they don't know how to dress for this new plus size and ask, me for advice and that's when I realized I can inspire people with this role because a plus size is all I know and if I can help inspire people or help give them tips of how to dress to make them feel more comfortable with themselves then that's a unique strength that I hope empowers others. One time I was at a photo shoot and I was the only plus model there the other girls were straight size models it came to a point where we were taking group shots and I remember the photographer saying to me don't you worry I can make you smaller I remember saying, don't you dare, this is my size, I am proud of my size. The fact that the photographer would even address my difference as though it was a negative was such a shame, but it also showed me how much more important it is to embrace who you are and not let others use your uniqueness against you. Same with me, I'm from an Asian family, so most of them are like five foot, I'm five foot ten. I'm the one that's just like, you know, the outcast, <laughs> not an outcast really, but I'm just kind of different from everyone else and it was hard basically growing up my mom used to torture me <laughs> for being there. yeah and yeah i just kind of learned to love myself over the years mm. yeah. Yeah. other women really just because i'm plus size doesn't make me feel less confident compared to a size eight woman you know? plus size is more than just the label in your clothing it's more about the person who's wearing the clothing. Plus size to me means the average woman. The average girl with curves, with shape, whoever embraces who they are. I think for a long time the industry was dominated by one type of model, but much more recently things are changing. There's starting to be big changes in the industry. People are starting to, to realise that it's not just about one size, one shape, or or one nationality, it's about inclusion. I find the term plus size empowering myself. I find, I feel like, yes, I'm glad to be a part of a group that, you know, they're not like the typical size that you see in the magazine, the slimmer girls or the straight size models. Like, I'm part of another group of women who are also just as powerful. So I feel like plus size isn't just, oh, you know, another thing that you just say. It's a movement. She means to me just, you know, people of different, sexes, different ages, different heights, different sizes, different ethnicities. It's just a real melting pot and yeah, just whether it's ethnically diverse or whether or not it's, um, you know, plus as diverse as we're doing today, it's just everybody's different. Diversity means to me just everyone embracing their differences instead of seeing them as flaws, seeing them as positives and just playing them up. If you're a big girl, just make yourself look like the blithest big girl you can. If you've got big hair, if you've got a big nose, anything, just celebrating your differences. Um, in regards to the 
plus size model Calvin Klein used recently, I don't have a problem with it personally. I think, as we've mentioned, plus size comes in all shapes and sizes and to the industry, yes she might be plus size, but she's still a woman and she still has hers, so I'm not offended by it personally. Mm. I think the aim isn't to segregate, but more to show that there's more. So yeah, she may be a, a one type of plus size, but there's more that other women need to be able mm. to relate to as well. So I don't have a problem as such, but I believe that the carbon can add, should have added more. What makes Remy Ray so unique is the fact that I take inspiration from being more of an edgy designer, um, a contemporary designer, mixed in with an infusion of influences from all around the world. My clothing's definitely not limited in terms of diversity. I definitely don't design um, my product for a specific woman, but I do have my clothing range from size 14 to a size 26, so it definitely is a wide range of plus size women, and I do custom pieces on the side as well. Do we get rid of the plus size in the industry? No, we keep plus size because... And embrace it. Yeah, because mm. not only does it describe a group of women, but it empowers women too. Yeah. And that is what we want to do. This is who I am, this is what I'm known to be. So it's quite interesting when as we label it as something different because this is, to me, this is normal. And that's what we want to like, do, what we're trying to do with plus size. We want to make the concept of plus normal. I know sometimes they try and break you down, but you gotta believe in yourself. You are beautiful and so unique.